Biggest sporting idol you look up to either in the past or right now? My sporting idol growing up was Steven Gerrard. Um, I just remember I had him posters on my wall and sort of obviously being from where I'm from and sort of captioning my childhood team and yeah I say his mentality and just the way he played the game he was just the ultimate ultimate complete player. How have you found the step up in responsibility and the armband you've been given this season and how do you feel you've grown recently both on and off the pitch as a result? Obviously it's an honour to wear the armband um, but we have so many leaders in the Chelsea team that it, it is very much a shared responsibility. It's a massive honour when I get to sort of wear it but it's just sort of goes beyond the armband. There's a lot, a lot of people that are contributing to that. And how do I feel I've grown recently, both on and off the pitch? Well, off the pitch, I would say maybe a bit in terms of around the team, maybe speaking up a bit more. And on the pitch, um, I would say my consistency maybe has got a little bit better, or well, hopefully. Who is the funniest player in the England squad? Hooney's quite funny. She can have her moments when she gets in a mood. Her and Alessia are funny together. Favourite footballer I've played with or against? I really enjoy playing with Penilla Harder when she was at Chelsea. I think, yeah, her mindset in the game, she would just sort of drag the team forward and also I just loved sort of, she was like a fox in the box. She was going to get on the end of any ball I put in. In the, like, recent, more recently at Chelsea, it's been Sam as well. I think, again, she's, she's a world, world-class player in terms of her, I think she's a complete player, her leadership. Um, her mentality and sort of her finishing ability and movement, it's world class and yeah, having someone like that on your team is very special. What inspired you to start football? I wouldn't say I was necessarily inspired at the start, I was so young, I just think I showed sort of an interest in it and quickly like fell in love with the game, so it was less of an inspiration, it was just more of a, oh this is fun, I love it. Do you have any pre-game superstitions? Yeah, I actually do have quite a lot, like too many to sort of uh, go through all of them. But me and Sam had one where, yeah, we'd before every game, she sort of puts us, her perfume on at the same time and we sort of say this little sort of thing to each other and that's sort of like, OK, now we're ready. Um, so really random. But also, I don't care if I don't do it. They're not as like intense. Who's your buddy in the team? Lauren Hem, even though she doesn't know much about me. I've seen the clip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As a youth player, I played forward for Liverpool. I made my England senior debut in April 2021 in a friendly against France. I won the treble in my first season with Chelsea in 2020. Neve Charles. Correct. Oh. Your best friend. <laughs> Your best friend. Damn, Tony. We won't tell her. That's bad. Did you give her a telling off? Yeah. <laughs> I did, and quite a few other people. I've done. I've said the things to other people, and they're like, "Yeah, I would have got that first one." So yeah, a bit upset.